So guys, have I got another special campsite for you here. I'm actually in Staffordshire and I've just arrived at the campsite again a little bit late. I've only got about half an hour of um, light left. It's a campsite called Wood Farm. It's near a little uh, place called Teen um, or Alton. Um, so Teen and Alton are about equidistant from the campsite. It's sort of deep uh, rural area, um, hilly, um, with some great views from different parts of the campsite. Great facilities, £10 a night. There's various fields, some within woodland, which is the one I'm in now. And then there's others that have a view from a height over the rest of this bit of Staffordshire. Really nice, this. I'm in one of five different camping fields that they've got. This is uh, number two a camping field. I've just pulled the bike up at the uh, sort of top part of the field. And um, I'll just give you a little quick view of uh, where I'm going to be camping. Very autumnal colours now. So that's it guys, I'm gonna, uh, I've got 20 minutes I think to get the uh, tent up and uh, I'm just gonna get that done. <laughs> Well, it's quite a cold, if not freezing, early Sunday morning. And it's very peaceful. I've got this particular camping field, because there are several. I've got this camping field to myself, surrounded by woodland with a woodland walk in that direction. Overviewing a valley full of trees. It's beautiful. Every season will have its own beauty. And this is late autumn. And you can see with the tree colorings. And it is a magnificent time. It's a bit uh, misty, it's a bit damp. I don't think we're gonna get the sun coming out today. Didn't yesterday. But on a very crisp, probably freezing cold, sunny morning, this would be absolutely stunning. And this is just one of five camping areas, camping fields that uh, they have on the farm. Now, I don't know whether this is an area of outstanding natural beauty in terms of designation, but this is a true area of outstanding natural beauty. Anyhow, just a little bit about the, the campsite. And um, actually, it closes for winter, and that can change depending on what's going on. We're now on about the 4th of November. Actually, no, it might be a bit later than that. However, next weekend, which would be the, around about the 10th, 11th of November, will be their last weekend for the season. So through the season, uh, this campsite opens Wednesday through till Sunday inclusive. Basically, they have a close on a Monday, Tuesday. Now, that might be different next year. But certainly for now, that's how they're running the campsite part of the farm, is to close on a Monday, Tuesday. It just allows them time to get everything, do all the work they need to do. So, if you're coming to this campsite, definitely check if they're open, if they're not open for the Monday, Tuesdays. Basically, the uh, season is uh, April through till 
end October. As it is, it'll be mid-November it's closing this time. So there is like flexibility on dates, so always check. £10 a night per person, obviously. So for solo motorcyclists, 10 10 pound barbecues campfires allowed obviously raised off the grass and actually i've noticed just where i'm camping and i'll show you in a moment uh, there's a couple of um, slabs set into the grass which will be for you to put your um, barbecue on or to put your fire pit on i believe they've got fire pits uh, this season they haven't been doing wood, it's been too expensive to buy in, but next year, which and, and this is 2024, next year they should be selling wood again. The uh, camping fields are dispersed and some of them are quite a walk from the farmhouse and the facilities, but obviously the more remote you get, um, the quieter it's going to be. I think it's probably always best to uh, to ring up and check availability in mid-season, but there is quite a lot of uh, space at this uh, this campsite. So I think if you turned up with motorbike and tent, I'm sure they would uh, squeeze you on somewhere. Uh, it's a cash-only site, so you need to bring cash, and the people are wonderful. Um, the farmer is called Nick and I'm sorry but I've forgotten his wife's name now but Nick and his wife um, they are such lovely people so helpful but anyway for now um, I'll just show you my pitch because I think we, we arrived in the dark last night so there wasn't much to show and, uh, and then I'm just going to show you broadly th this camping field and another couple and uh, then show you the facilities so let's have a little look at that so the uh, cut grass on this area is where I'm standing and then uh, the field seems to fall away to longer grass and I'm not sure as to whether you can camp down there but I suspect you probably can. Always check when you, when you arrive. Uh, there's good facilities on this site. They've got uh, good fire points. Um, there's water on the fields, the camping fields. Although the one on this field has now been switched off for the season. Uh, but there is fresh water down at the uh, farmhouse. But this is where I've uh, got pitched, just uh, in front of this uh, beautiful old wood and uh, I'm on the Honda NX500 as you'll probably be aware if you follow me and this is my pitch for the couple of nights that I'm spending here and actually in the MSR Elixir 2 on this trip so this is uh, a woodland walk that they have And this is uh, old forest, this, this is uh, beautiful. Uh, the grass is very, very good and um, it's a bit damp because we've had a lot of rain this year but it's uh, very good so you got uh, recycling bins obviously for your plastics glass cans bagged rubbish and then that one will be for your ashes really well well thought out this So this is one of two accesses onto this field, uh, one at this end and one at the other end. Uh, and this is hard compacted uh, gravel. Uh, it, there's no problem riding your bike within this site. Uh, everything's pretty easy. And then from this point, 
you are onto uh, the grass. This is a beautiful location up in the Staffordshire Hills. It's an area that I've not really ridden through, but there's a lot of history around here. And you've got Alton, the little village of Alton nearby. Uh, probably, I'll put it up on screen, but I think it's uh, only going to be a couple of miles. Uh, you'll find shops there. Uh, in the other direction, there's another village which uh, also has some shops. I get, I'll put the details up because I forget the name of the other village as well. Um, so there's uh, plenty of uh, shops and fuel to be had uh, within a reasonable ride, maybe 10 minutes. That is a little track down straight to the farm. And another track which goes to the other side of the farm to where the facilities are. That's the one that I rode up to get here. Uh, and again, no problem at all. Hard, compacted gravel. So, uh, Alton is uh, just down in the valley below. Uh, you might know it better for um, the place called Alton Towers, which is a visitor attraction. And that's somewhere down there. Beautiful, rolling, hilly countryside here. So this is campsite three. So I'm, I'm in a wooded glen area really. Uh, this gives you more open views to, towards Alton. And then through that gate at the top there, you, I think going to Camping Field 4, and then further on into Camping Field 5. So this is uh, Field 4 with Field 3 in the background. What an excellent view you get from here. What I like about this is you get different views from different pitches, or different fields anyway. To get away from it all, You've got Camp Field 5. Now this is a little bit muddy. I mean, the uh, weather has been pretty wet in recent weeks. So I've pointed out the two routes to the uh, facilities, to the farm. Uh, one is the one that I rode up behind me. That's the better one to use to ride your bike on. And then we have one behind me here, which goes, and that's the, I, th I believe this is the quickest way to the farm if you're walking, but maybe not quite as good for riding your bike. So use the big track to get up here. Yes, yeah, so this is the quickest uh, access to the facilities, to the farm, from uh, that camping field and from the others further out there, um, but not the best for riding your bike up to it. This is the uh, driveway up from the, uh, the little back road that you uh, come in, and um, it gives you another perspective of the area as well. Now, I've been talking to uh, Nick, the uh, farmer, and this site itself and this area is steeped in history. Uh, there's burial grounds within the farm site, within the woodland walks. Um, and uh, there's a, a, an abbey just down there in the valley. Uh, so the, the history of this place is immense. You're basically entering the farm here through, these, uh, through this gate and then uh, through the second gate there, where you can obviously see the farm building, is where the reception is. 
Oh, and that, uh, in that direction, is the direction to get up to, to ride up to the fields, the camping fields. So our reception is quite clear because there's a big sign there and uh, that's where you report in and pay your money. So within the farmyard you've got this little uh, wash up area here, a little picnic bench to uh, have a sit while you're sorting things out and um, it's just basic, it's just exactly what you need actually, it's uh, very good. Um, got hot water here, plenty of room to get your stuff done, so you've got fridge freezer you can use and uh, you've got some recycling bins here as well. So just next to the uh, wash up facility you've got the uh, toilets and I don't think there's anybody in but you've got ladies to the right and gents to the left. So uh, the gents um, are here, very clean, showers are free, So excellent facilities and uh, they do have uh, in season they have porta loos out uh, sometimes on the fields I think um, but excellent facilities here. So this is your uh, riding track this is how you're going to get to the campsites yeah just hard compacted gravel is pretty good really um, that's campsite one, which is another big field, uh, with a, gif a different view as well. I mean, just going, looking towards that abbey that I pointed out. Um, but there is a big community on there, so I'm not going to go filming in there. It's actually a group of, uh, Polish, uh, camper van owners. Um, and they have a Facebook page. I'm going to look that up, but, uh, lovely people. I've been talking to a few whilst I've been here. And uh, they're uh, obviously just on a weekend uh, meetup. So this is the um, other entrance to the campsite two where I am. And uh, actually this is the one that I rode into, but then ended up at the back of the field. The uh, woodland walk that I, I told you about, which is the woodland in front of us, um, again, talking to Nick, the uh, farmer, uh, is actually uh, ancient f uh, forest land, ancient woodland. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, get kitted up and uh, go have a ride out on the bike. Get back, reasonable time. So that's my uh, two night stay at Wood Farm finished. I've really enjoyed this camp. I, I enjoy all my camping, uh, but I think this place is rather special for some of the reasons I've outlined to you. The ancient woodland that I'm camped right next to. Beautiful in there. The peace and tranquility of the site. Albeit last night I was the only person on the campsite. Uh, £10 a night. Uh, showers included. Absolute perfection. And this is a site that I, I really would highly recommend next year because it, fin it, it actually closes in, in about a week's time. Next year, I really would highly re recommend that you uh, try to get yourself a visit here. It's something different. Anyhow, the bike's packed. I'm ready to go. Don't know where I'm going now, but I'll figure it out in the next uh, hour or so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next campsite.